This movie shows a stem being made for a vacuum device such as a triode. The stem is where the glass to metal pinch seals are located. It also provides support for the electrodes. First a short length of 14mm diameter glass tube is fitted in the lathe. It is centred up and then run at low speed. The tube is then gently heated. A fine torch flame is then used to heat only the last few millimetres of the tube to melting. When the glass has become sufficiently soft, a glass reaming tool is used to flare the end of the tube the flare is opened out to 22mm diameter to match the envelope that it will be fitted inside of. A yellow flame is then used to partially anneal it. The tube must be cut to the correct length to match the jig for making the pinch seals. The black on the tube is just soot from the yellow flame. cut the tube, it is first scored all the way around with a knife. The score mark is moistened and then heated with a nichrome wire to sever the tube. This is my crude setup for flash welding the wires. The seals are made using Dumit wire, but this needs to transition inside the glass to nickel iron wire to support the electrodes. I use a short length of capillary tube to make the wires meet end on. This is the jig that holds the wires and stem tube in position when making the pinch seal. It is made from Sindanio board to withstand the annealing oven. The jig is held together with stainless steel nuts and bolts. The stem is now ready to be pinched. The little metal envelope helps to position the wires and protects them from the direct flame. Graphite blocks are used to pinch the glass. An optical switch is used to make the jig stop in the correct position each time.
This is a completed stem after annealing in the oven at 530 centigrade. The flared bottom will be joined to the envelope. The wires at the top will connect to the electrodes inside the envelope. 